Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang. I'm a math expert from St. Petersburg, Florida, and we are here to talk about how to solve fractional exponents. What you need for this exercise are a pen or pencil, piece of paper, and a calculator, whether it be graphing or a scientific. So we're going to go over a few examples on using properties of fractional exponents, and we'll see what you can do with those right now. Now, let's start off with 4 to the 3 halves, for example. With any expression with rational exponents, you can transform them into a radical if the occasion arises and is necessary. Now, the procedure for that is very straightforward. Now, you take a look at the denominator, which in this case is 2, and you could write the denominator, which is 2 in this case, and but being that it's a square root, I just want to let you know you generally don't write that. But if the denominator was a 3, 4, or 5, you definitely put the number in there. And actually everything else, you see 4 and the 3, actually stay inside the radical. So in other words, once the denominator is moved on the outside, the rest of the expression can be moved on the inside. Now, just a couple of uh, review rules for properties of exponents. If you have b to the m times b to the n, as long as the bases are the same, you can add those exponents. So for example, in this case, if you have x to the 1 half times x to the 1 half, you can add those because the bases match, and 1 half plus 1 half, as you know, is x to the 1, or you can simply just leave it as x. Now, another property that you can use would be if you have b to the m over b to the n. Again, if the bases match, but the exponents are different, you can subtract those. Okay, so if you have something like b to the 1 half over b to the 1 third, you can subtract those, 1 half minus 1 third. And of course, in you know, in order to subtract these, you need the least common denominator between 2 and 3, which as you know is 6. So this is going to be b to the 3 sixth minus 2 sixth. Remember, these numbers are still in the exponent, and 3 sixth minus 2 sixth is going to give you 1 over 6. So b to the 1 half over b to the 1 third is b to the 1 sixth. And one last major property I want to talk about with you is if you have b to an exponent and that's in turn raised to another exponent, then you would multiply those two exponents together. So for example, if you have b to the 1 half and it's raised to the 1 fourth, you would actually just multiply those. Okay, 1 times 1, as you know, is 1, and then 2 times 4 is going to give you 8, so b to the 1 half to the 1 fourth power is going to be b to the 1 eighth power. Now, there's some other properties with exponents, but this will definitely help you get started. And I'm Jimmy Chang, and that's how to solve fractional exponents.